we're showing is what are the source nodes doing on the left and what are the destination nodes doing on the right. At the top left, you're going to see instantaneous uh, across the 5 megahertz. What, are each, what is each team doing with its transmitter on its source node? Okay, designated in, in color with, with red and blue. Below that, you're going to see a waterfall plot that's going to show you a time series. It's going to be scrolling. It's going to show you uh, what have they done over time. That gives you a sense of their strategy and how they're adapting their strategy, potentially. And again, you're going to see a similar thing in terms of the transmissions from their destination of things like feedback that they may be employing, things like blocking or, or intentional interference strategies you're going to see on the right side. At the bottom, for each team, you're going to see this kind of checkerboard pattern. There's two of them. The top one represents what packets has their source node pulled from the packet server. Okay, that's, So that's what information they have at the source. The bottom one is the delivered packet map. That will fill in each grid uh, here represents 100 packets, and it will fill in from a light color to a dark color as they complete successfully transmitting all those packets within that uh, block of 100 packets. And if they finish their entire file, that, that grid uh, will be completely filled in for the delivered packet map. You'll also notice here, uh, to the right of the checkerboard pattern, we have additional information. Again, how many packets has their source pulled? How many packets have they successfully verified and turned in on their destination side? How much of their file have they successfully completed in terms of the percentage? And then the time when the last packet uh, was received. Very similar visualization, but here uh, we have three teams. So we see their uh, packet pull and packet delivered maps. Uh, from a spectrum perspective, it looks very similar, except again, we have three colors, but we still only have a source side and a destination side. And here, uh, what you'll be looking for is both uh, how many packets did each team individually deliver and then what is their score, which again is not only dependent on their performance, it's dependent on the performance of the others and the interactions and impacts uh, that teams are having on each other. 